What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service and whatever else it is right now. Uh, lawn service and stuff. How about that? Lawn service and stuff. Um, it is Friday morning. No grass today. I did have one. I could have went and uh, run over and mulched the leaves uh, here. We don't get the cold like y'all do in some places, so we don't. Our leaves fall um, very slow. Right, let me show you right here. So this is—I uh, don't know what kind of trees these are, but if you look right here in front of me. That tree over here is practically still full of leaves, and you got some of these smaller ones here that have dropped them off. Uh, the big oak trees in my yard still half full of leaves. Uh, the pecan trees, pecan, pecan, whatever you want to call it. Um, those are, uh, they're, they're falling now. So anyway, uh, that's why the, the, the schedule can be kind of flexible around here when you start talking about going and mulching up leaves. I am going to install a couple of vessel sinks and faucets. Uh, got a whole thing of plumbing right here for a customer, um, uh, on top of an old dresser. Uh, this customer took an old dresser, distressed it. It's got a wood top on it. Wanted to install uh, in their bathroom. Well, they've already put it in the bathroom, but want to put the vessel sinks on it. They've already hung the lights from the ceiling, so you got to line all that up. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. I got that, and I got another little small project. Put up some mini blinds. That, you know, I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today. I honestly. I uh, don't have any idea how long these vessel sinks are going to take. Uh, when the customer asked me, this is one of my lawn customers, when they asked if I would uh, be interested in doing it, I got to take the drawers because this uh, dresser has drawers in it. Uh, the top one's going to just be a face, a fake face. I'll take the whole drawer off and just nail the face on. The bottom two drawers, I'll cut the drawers down, cut the tracks down, do all that. So I, I don't have any idea how long this is going to take. I kind of gave the customer a top price, and uh, it'll probably take all of it. Probably take more than that, but I, you know, I'm not going to go over that top price. But, but anyway, um, that's what I'm working on. All right, these are the two vessel sinks. This is the old vanity. I got those drawers out. Uh, these are going to be just fake faces off the old drawers. Uh, that's hitting a drain pipe. And that'll be in the way of the uh, S trap, so that'll be. I'm gonna cut a few inches off, maybe four or five inches off of these. It'll still be good sized drawers, but um, right now I'm getting some shims. I need to level this up. It's running down. It's out about a three eighths of an inch. We'll shim it up and get that right. Then drill all this stuff and uh, <clears throat> plumb it up and get it done. <clears throat> All right, got this bad boy uh, leveled up. And the moment of truth is about to come. Because I'm getting ready to drill holes in this probably. 80 year old, 100 year old. This is actually an old one that was bought at an antique shop. This is not some newer one that's been, you know, done in distress to make look old. It is old. So, uh, I got the customer to look at my layout and I knocked this one over. But uh, she liked the way it looked and what we're going for. And lining up straight below these lights. I mean, you can't it'll be in front of it, but uh, it's 40 inches between those. It'll be 40 inches between the drains on these, centered up. So, yep. We might to drill some holes.
make sure I get them straight when I put them in. I'm trying to keep this distance the same. Uh, this one appears to be a little bit closer than that one. Um, you know, but when you put them that close, because what we want this to do is we want this to come down on the center of this so it doesn't splash. So to hit this and dissipate. If you put it over here, it'll probably splash. So under here, uh, we got our PEX pipe and our drain and drain and PEX pipe and uh, like I said before we're going to uh, completely take this drawer out and just put a face on it and then we'll modify these other drawers to work so that's what we're about to start on now so we can get these mounted down and I will show you uh, the process well, let me just go ahead and tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, clear silicone around here. Clear silicone. And look, I know there's been, I've seen 10 different ways people have done them. I'm going to do clear silicone around the bottom to keep it in case it ever leaked. It wouldn't go out onto the wood. And then, of course, we're going to silicone this whole thing down, tighten up the nut on the drain basket. Between tightening up the nut on here and the silicone on the base of this, uh, once it dries, it won't ever go anywhere. So that's what we're gonna do. the issue I got uh, I hope that light ain't messing it up too bad where these drains are stubbed out versus the location of where they wanted the vessels uh, you can see I'm not coming out even here and you really don't want to be pulling on these pipes very much uh, I mean I could probably make that one work um, but when you start forcing these things, you end up with leaks. And besides that, let me show you this side. <laughs> See how far off this side is? I mean, that's, uh, that's off a lot. So that's three inches. So what I'm gonna have to do is go get some inch and a half pipe and some 45 and come over and then go up. So, yep, that's what we're going to end up doing. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and shut the water off. I'm going to hook up the picks and hook up my shutoff valves and all that uh, to make sure that we don't have any leaks. So that's important too. Because if you're going to have to run to the plumbing store, the hope is you only have to do it once. So that's my goal. We'll see. All right, uh, I think I had this in a time lapse, but let me get you some good light. I don't know if you can tell, but these pipes got a lot of paint on them. Um, I'm using sharp bites. Sharp bites, you want a good cutter, a nice clean cut. Uh, there's hundreds of videos on how to put sharp bites on, so I'm not going to talk about that. But uh, definitely, 
want to clean the pipes good. That is a big deal. So that rubber seal, make sure there's no burrs on it and that rubber seal seals off. So. All right, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, uh, the way I'm set up, but I'm gonna try to walk you through assembling uh, my HB uh, faucet. Here's the lines, hot and cold, washers, uh, and that brass mounting nut. So, let's see if I can set you up here. And uh, just let you kind of look at it, hopefully, without that falling. I'm gonna make sure this whole assembly is tight because when you get it installed, you want to be able to turn this without this loosening up. All this comes off. Get your two water lines. They're marked red and blue. Hot always goes on the left hand side. My right, looking at it like this, right here. You're just gonna run that up in here, in this base. These two rubber washers are gonna seal off. And just as a general rule, uh, with everything plumbing, for the most part, put it in hand tight, about a quarter of a turn. This is you got to slide all your hardware over these hoses and they won't go in together you have to do one and then the one behind it Once again, you want to get all this tight. And when this base mounts, you want to be able to move this without. See, if you don't tighten it, this is what will happen. When you try to move that, the whole base will move. You don't want that. Nice and tight. On this particular model, you have uh, one rubber washer that goes on top of the counter. Uh, you put the flare up. We're gonna drop all this through the hole. I'm gonna put on the rubber washer, the metal washer, and the brass nut. this nut and washer and two washers run them up over this up here tighten it up I'm not going to show you that you know how to do that and then we're going to hook up uh, the hot and cold supply lines
All right, since we can't hook our drain up yet and we want to test everything we can test, uh, <clears throat> we got the pop up valve closed. And because I know there's going to be some water, I'm going to put a cup up here. I mean, this is off, it won't leak right now, but <clears throat> I'm going to ease these on. sure to pressurize good. So I want to check it's very good for leaks. And I'm really not worried about these fittings leaking so much as I would be these. So if we have any problem now it'll start running down. So I've already done this side. Uh, once I verify there's no leaks or anything, we'll tie all these wires up. Uh these bottom four drawers out uh, this is that project and what I got to do is take uh, four and a half inches off of these so I'm gonna come right over here to four and a half I'm gonna cut these down uh, but in order to do that I need to take these off so I gotta pop these staples out of these old uh, rollers uh, they're not attached on this end, so what I'll do is I'll I'll take these off, I'll pull them out, I'll have to cut four and a half off of these as well uh, to make them go in. So, or either just leave them long. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do on that because of the way these are mounted. They're designed to be cut off that end. But then they're not going to go all the way back to where the wheels lock in. Which I don't think is going to be. These, these don't like really slide easy. So I think that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to cut these down. So anyway, that's what I'm about to work on now. So took it off we cut this down four and a half inches and uh, cut this track down or this assembly I was gonna see if I could put them side by side and let you see I'm not gonna time-lapse or record all of these I have four of them to do 
but uh, that gives you an idea right there of what I've done. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this one up, do the other side, and then knock out the other three. Already checked for leaks. Everything's been hooked up for about a couple of hours. Looking good. I'm getting ready to. Uh, these are the drawers that you saw that I cut down. Um, and I cut them down because, as you can see right here, the plumbing. So. And then these are just going to be false. We're just going to take these and uh, nail them up. All right, here we go, done deal. Everything modified, put back together. Here's my word, all right. <laughs> done, done, customer loved it, loved it. Um, and you know, that's, that's one of the things that I love about doing uh, projects like this. I mean, you know, obviously we ain't we work to make money or you know but satisfaction man just like cutting a lawn when you get done and the customer goes oh my goodness that looks good same thing doing projects going the extra mile uh, you know cleaning up and I have my shop back there took her rugs out dusted them out put them back in uh, brought a rag with me right wiped down the vanity you know, all those kind of little details that don't take a long time, but when she goes in there to look at it, that wow factor is uh, is definitely a little bit less if, uh, you know, there's scrap wood in the floor or still sawdust or dust from where you cut the PVC pipe, that kind of stuff. So uh, anyway, she was really happy with it. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I figured on it taking me a day, you know, max, and uh, I got about nine hours uh, in the whole project. That's going to get uh, supplies yesterday. Uh, you know, I went back to the house today to rebuild those drawers. I wouldn't have had to do that. I could have did it out there. I had everything to do it out there with me. But I like to let my dogs out through the middle of the day. So I went home, let them out, you know, did that. Throwed my goat some hay in there. But, uh, hey, I appreciate you watching the video. If you got any questions about, you know, installing one of those sinks or uh, one of those kind of faucets or something, uh, drop it in the comment. Uh, 
or you know if you want to send me a message uh, you can find cleaning green lawn service llc on instagram and uh, you can direct message me there i'd be glad to help you out any way that i can my prayer for you is always the same that the lord might richly bless you and that you might see all of your blessings as from him hope you have a great day